Hi there, my name is Lydia Stanley. I'm a digital content creator based in Nigeria. And you're welcome to my phone digital content creator class. In this class, you're going to be learning a whole lot on how to create high quality digital content using your mobile phone. You're going to be learning how to do all this at the comfort of your house, your office, your studio, wherever you'd like to film. And what's more, this whole um, class is going to be really budget friendly so you don't have to break the bank to start creating content using the tips that will be taught in this class. And you might be wondering, is all this possible? Yes, that's what this class is aimed to teach. I'm going to be breaking down everything in detail, which by the end of this class, you're going to be a top-notch digital content creator, I promise you. Also, at the end of the courses, there will be an extra bonus course teaching you how to maximize Instagrams, hashtags, and tools to take advantage of the SEO and make sure your page grows. And I'm very sure this will be very beneficial to you if you want to grow you know, your page on Instagram or YouTube or any platform in general. So in today's course, we are going to be focusing on the filming process. I'm going to be showing you my setup, how I film using my mobile phone, how I autofocus, and a lot of other tips I'll be sharing in this course as well. So get your pen, your paper, and let's get into this course, guys. You want to make sure that your phone is in the center, and that's what this mirror is doing here. This mirror is for helping me see myself while I'm recording, so I have the reflection of the, um, the reflection of the camera on the mirror and that helps me sort of like a viewfinder which is very thoughtful if i need to um magnify this mirror has two sides the magnifying side and the you know normal side so i could magnify what i was doing in case i was filming a more detailed like eye look so i can really see what i'm doing i'm also going to show you how i you know, autofocus my camera, my phone camera, because it's important that you autofocus your phone camera so that the light does not keep moving as you're moving around, be it whatever you're recording. If you're recording food, if you're recording books, clothes, shoes, whatever it is you're recording, you want to make sure that you autofocus it. So I'm showing you now how I autofocus myself on my phone you just tap your face on the screen and hold it there and then until you see ae lock and then it locks up and you have that for you know the duration of while you're recording i always advise you to be charging your phone while you're recording so that your phone doesn't die because it seems to drain a lot of battery while you're recording and another very important tip while recording ensure that you record short clips two minutes should be your maximum if you're doing so much two minutes each time so if you're doing eye makeup you know you record the most important part maybe you applying the liner or you applying the dark brown eyeshadow you know or you just blending a clip of you blending if you record a lot of content on your phone it'll be difficult to edit while going into the app on your phone so short clips is best trust me whatever you're recording makeup hair food short clips of important moments so that it's not too long if you're recording for youtube of course you should have in mind that the clip should be longer but not too long so say you want to say oh this is how i blend out my crease i use this color this color and then you just show different clips of you using that color and that's it don't record say 20 minute clips on your phone for one it's going to fill up your phone memory and for two it's going to be difficult to edit trust me so shorter clips is better and faster editing for you So this is what it looks like when you're recording for your um for youtube on your phone like landscape mode and it's better this way for youtube so that it fills up the entire screen usually 
I've never done this because I've not filmed with my phone for YouTube but if you want to record for YouTube this is how your phone should be let me show you how to do if you want to record for Instagram just portrait mode just turn it around that's all just turning it around and that's all so this is what it looks like recording for Instagram in portrait mode or vertical mode very important that you make sure your camera is like this. this is the best way so that you don't have to worry about trimming it or making it you know zooming it in and then losing quality as well make sure that you just record in um, portrait mode from the beginning if you know you're just recording for Instagram this is how I record for um, Instagram all the time my Instagram IGTV videos this is how I record so while filming as well you can kind of see the angle like the space in between my head and the top of my phone i like to film this way i like to make sure that i give that space so that when i'm done editing you know there's the part where the app puts in the editing app that we're going to be using for this class there's a the part where it puts in the um their yeah, handle so i just the handle comes up here so once at, at about this height here so once you put in or once i put in the video and i'm editing and i'm done editing and i want to post on instagram there's no way from where my head starts to where my shoulder stops it's not going to fill in the instagram screen thereby eliminating that extra at Kino Master or whatever, uh, Adobe, whatever at you understand what I'm saying? That's why I put it. And another reason why I give sufficient headroom because this is called a headroom here to here, it's called a headroom. So, so, another reason why I give sufficient headroom space is because um, it also helps me like make sure that my head is not cut off in my videos. So, um, yeah, I make sure that I give that sufficient headroom so that it eliminates the possibilities of me not having like my head cut off. It also makes sure that the app handle the handle of the app clear is not in my videos you know and then three it also helps me maintain like a certain position throughout like if the camera is too close and to the point where your head moves moves it's going to look crazy but this way making sure your position is like this with this tripod and all of that it ensures that you maintain a seemingly um constant position throughout the um footages that you'll be recording so yeah so while recording, it's very paramount that you clean your camera. This is a clip of me recording without um, cleaning my camera. You can see how blurry it is. And this comes from when you pick up your phone to answer a call, while your phone is in your pocket, when you eat and your fingerprint touches your camera, which happens all the time. For taking pictures, for taking um, videos, it's very important that every single time you want to clean your every single time you want to clean your camera so an easy way of doing it is to use a paper towel and or a cutting material and wipe it off until it's clean you have to make sure that you wipe it off until you can see crisp clear videos trust me your quality will be a hundred and one percent better so i'm going to show you a clip of me filming with a clean camera now so this is a clip of me recording with a clean camera you can tell the difference right make sure your lens is always clean front camera back camera make sure you clean it with a cutting cloth or a piece of tissue or whatever you might find just make sure your camera is void of any fingerprint or gunk or anything on the lens of the camera okay So this is what you do to get maximum quality while um, filming on your mobile phone. You go into your settings. There's similar settings on an Android as well. So you go into your settings and then you click on, you go look for your camera. Camera should be under C. Okay, so this is camera here. And then you click it. And then you see um, to preserve settings in camera mode, preserve the last mode such as video, you don't need that. Filter, you don't need that. Then live photo, I have mine turned on live photo. The main area we are going to is in the recording video because we are recording a video with our mobile phone, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and um, click on record video. And you see, I already had mine to 4K 
at 30 frames per second so it gives me very high quality footage it gives me very high quality footage um this is 1080p which is also a good quality um usually when your phone comes it usually comes in 720p and that is because your phone is trying to preserve your memory and make sure that your memory lasts you really long but if you want to record on your phone your iphone your android check for the camera settings and make sure you put it in the highest one which is 4k so it records 4k for you if you have even higher camera levels like the iphone xx max the 11 pro you even get even greater quality with your back camera never use your front camera to record guys never use your front camera to record use your back camera clean it as i've shown you put it on this setting and then you're good to go with filming guys